Okay, we are standing here. We're gonna see whether Carson, who is 16 years old, knows how to use one of these. What is it? Get snow off or whatever ice. It's a what? Do you know what it's called? No. You don't know what it's called? It's called an ice scraper? Yeah. Okay, let's see. What do you, I'm gonna stand over here. What do you do with this thing? Let's see, what do you do? I can get ice off like that or brush. Mm -hmm. Let me pretend there's a bunch of ice on there. Let's see whether you got it or not. Okay, um, uh, I would say that one you pass. Very good, nice job. Hey, what do you think that thing is in your hand there? It's like a it's peeler. It's a what? Peeler. A peeler, Jesus. okay. Uh, so show me how to use this peeler. Have you ever done this before? No. You've never done this before? Uh, look at that though, it's kind of working out okay. Give me a little we bit We have more. here a check. So if you're gonna write out a check to um, Bill Smith for $100, what would you do? Okay. Okay, he's writing Bill Smith, and he's got that right. Paid to the order of, yes, 100. And you missed, there you go. Yep, you got to fill in the dollar amount up there in the upper right hand corner. And uh, what else do you got to do? Date. Yeah, put the date on there. Yep. Today's whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, 20, okay, that's fine. And then what else you gotta do? There's one more thing you gotta do. A reason? Uh, no, or you don't have to put a reason. There's one very important thing that you've got to do on the check. You've got the who it's to, the date, the amount, and then the amount spelled out. What's the last thing you gotta do? Bank? No. You forgot to... Goes right here. Do you know what it is? Nope. You have to sign the check. Okay. So go ahead and sign it. Just say Carson, that's fine. All right. Uh, next so one. when you eat at a uh, restaurant, Carson, when you eat at a restaurant and uh, they give you great service, you have to leave them a what? Tip. A tip. So let's say you and I go to Buffalo Wild Wings and we spend $50 on food and you want to give her a good tip. What's a good tip? $10. $10. How did you figure $10? Um, mm. What is Just, the, huh? Um, I don't know. What's the percentage? I mean, like 20 or something? 20%, like yeah. So if it's $100, then what would it be? Uh, 20. 20, okay, so 20%, very good. I think you got that one. Okay, next on our list is to fold a towel. Now, we're too lazy to go all the way upstairs and get a big bath towel, but fold this towel for us. Okay, he's got the corners and he's got one fold in and uh, then he's got another, and he's going to fold it. There you go, okay, very nice, yeah, look at that. Okay, not bad, okay, good job. Next on the list is load a dishwasher, but you said what a minute ago? A three-year-old knows how to do this. Okay, so you definitely know how to load a dishwasher, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, so he's got the plates in, and uh, he is, Okay, there's plate number two. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, sometimes a little tricky to get those plates in there. Okay. You having trouble loading the dishwasher. What's the problem? Um, okay, there we go. Uh, glasses, uh, where do those go? Do those go on the bottom shelf too? Yep. They do, okay. No, he's actually putting them on the top shelf. Okay, nice. Sometimes they have to fit in there. Okay, all right, you pretty much got it. Do that last one there. Okay, very good. Last one, we're looking at an analog clock. Not a digital clock, not your phone. What time does it say? 7.54. 7.54 is absolutely right. How do you think you did with all these uh, tasks that a teenager should know? Good. Yeah? Okay, good. How annoyed are you for making me have you do these right now? Yeah, Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye.